Hi Aquarius, I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my report for you for the month of April. Okay, let's see what's going on this month. So communication with friends can be very, very inspiring during this time, but beware of monetary situations. So if you're dealing with money and friends, then you want to sort of make sure that you're all, or both of you or everyone concerned are aware of the details, okay? So put it in writing, um, handshakes are, you know, great. And it's not great, but, you know, when it is in writing, then everybody can see it in black and white and see you know what it is and ask any questions so there's no um, less possibility of things getting lost in translation as to say as to speak so you know open communication is always best and this month as the energy of the new moon in the early in the month on the fifth in your area of communication is going to help you achieve this okay but it's still up for, to you to speak with clarity and first to really think about what it is that you want if you're trying to communicate something to someone or get to the bottom of the situation then you first want to spend some time of just sorting out what is that what is the outcome that you want to achieve okay and once you do that then it's sort of easier and particularly if you're like open and honest and yeah and not that not that it's like you to play games anyway Aquarius but you know let me just say the more open and honest and straightforward that you can be during this time particularly when there's moon energy um, then you know the the better that that's going to sort of work out for you um, this is a time when you can meet someone amazing also on the love scene so they are you know all that is good advice for any area of your life particularly with love and particularly when you're first meeting someone because someone that you have like an instant and sharp intellectual connection with can really just come out of the blue and particularly around your family area um, you know with the Sun and Uranus connecting and then when these two planets connect or the Sun and um, Uranus being the planet the Sun being um, a luminary so when these two energy rather connect it's like a, a point where things can push forward it's like a trigger point and this can indicate that there's some changes around your home and family and they can literally come out of the blue so you want to keep your schedule a little bit flexible and when the love where love is concerned with the energy of Mars then it's very passionate so you know even though there's things going on with money and work then it's really more about balance um, this month of you sorting out what you can do where you're both spend, best spending your energy and getting organized so no one especially you uh, don't miss out in the in the mix okay so um, and you know with the family and family also incorporates friends and people that you feel are close enough to call family it's not always you know family doesn't always represent just sort of blood members of the family um, and you know with Saturn with three planets going retrograde this month Jupiter Pluto and Saturn um, all you know the Jupiter um, on the 11th Pluto on the 25th Saturn towards the end of the month on the 30th as the month progresses things tend to slow down a little bit right because when a planet goes in and out of a retrograde phase or transit then there can be like a little unsettled energy um, you want to get organized clear about your thoughts once it gets into that transit then it tends to sort of settle down so you want to keep that in mind once again from a communication point of view don't make any assumptions okay so make sure everybody you know knows what's going on 
Um, opportunities can come through this month as well from people that you know particularly, people that you know and trust. Um, a creative project can get the go ahead, but you will need to get organized once again to be able to take advantage of it and move forward. Um, but you you have a good backup of people around you, um, the people that you trust their information and uh, their creative input so you want to take advantage of that okay all right so I hope it's a great month for you if you've never had your personal chart analyzed this is a terrific month to get that done too okay so for all of April with the start of the zodiac month I had 25% off um, there and I really believe that everybody should be able to have their chart done once every once a lifetime it's an amazing experience it takes a couple of hours to give and it takes a while to prep hence why the why the chart analysis are always a little more expensive um, but hopefully it you know a little more affordable with the 25% off for April so if you want to take advantage of that you can read all about it on jenniferangel.com under the astrology reading page just send me an email if you've got any questions okay all right love and luck to you we'll see you again soon bye for now